Hey guys, this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and today I'm going to talk to you about something very special because a lot of you guys will have many questions about this rolling through your mind always and I'm here to answer those questions. And that question is, what do I do when I try to physically escalate with a woman and she says no? Or she goes, she turns, you try to go for a kiss or she turns away. There's many different things you can do in this situation. And if I could just start off with things you don't do, then I can give you the insight into things you do do. For the things you don't do, you try to go for the handhold and she pulls away. And you go, come on, we're just trying to have a good time. That whole reactivity around that, that lets the woman know that in any situation where she wants to be intimate with you, she wants to open up to you, you're going to react to that. You're going to react to the moments that she doesn't want to do something. And that's not comfortable for her. A woman can only relax with the, with, with the man who is completely deep and fulfilled in his truth and he's able to bring that across to a woman in a way that's relaxing for her. So the truth in that moment is, yeah, you want to have a more experience, but what, what's even more truthful for you in that moment is to give her the space to open to you. Guys are always impatient for a woman to move at the pace that they want to move at. And what I want you to do is to let go of your own impatience. Let it go because your impatience will, rule, will ruin your results with women. Women are drawn to men who are empathetic. Men who can be able to go, okay, I can see right now it's not the right time for you and I'm okay with that. I'm willing to move at the pace that you're moving at. And that can relax her. She can begin to be around you and not feel that she has to do something. Not feel that she has to give you something because you want it at that time. She wants to know that, okay, right now is not the time and can you adjust to me? Can you be able to move at my pace and be patient? And like I talked in my other video about patience could be the key to getting you laid more, that's actually the truth. Being able to pace with a woman and go at her pace, it's not about even just get, being able to get laid more with this, but it's really just being empathetic to a woman at all stages as you're with her. And much like I talked to me about not cutting the experience to, okay, this is the experience of being with a woman right now, then being on the date, then the phase where I'm taking her home, then the bedroom. You need to make it all one experience because in making it all one experience, you can enjoy every step along the way. And then the, in, in that enjoying every step along the way, that's when you're pacing. That's when you, you're going, okay, I know my man is very open to this. Most women and most people out there are actually not open as open as you are. So just because you're open does not mean that you need, you need others to automatically adjust to you. You need to now meet others where they are. And that's, what's, that's what I do every single time that I meet a woman. I meet her where she is because if I don't, I know that I will be too far ahead and she a lot of times won't be able to adjust to me. She, it'll, it'll be hard for her because just the reality of living in my experience is very different. So a woman must take time to be able to open up to my experience many of the times. And the women who take and who don't take time, then yeah, they're jewels. With this video, things that you don't do also when it comes to going for the kiss, you lean in and go for the kiss and then she turns her head. In that moment, many guys go, all right, she's not into me. All right, she doesn't want me to do this. Oh, why is she just being a bitch? Why is she moving so slow? Oh, this girl, she's uptight. And this way of her being that, she's showing the truth of her heart in that moment. She's showing you the truth of what she's like in this moment with you, how comfortable she feels around you. And in that comfortability that she's feeling, she'll respond to it in whatever way, in whatever way she may. And you need to respond to her response, to how she's feeling. You go in for the kiss, she turns her head, you can stay there with her for a moment, like James say, or you can play with it. There's many different things you can do. But that is not a, that is not a time for you to go, okay, she's not into me. And we'll talk about that later. Being able to go, all right, right now she's not ready, but later on she will be. And another example, and this is one example I love talking about, is when you get a woman all the way to your bedroom, and then she goes, this is too fast. I'm not ready for this. I don't do it on the first night. All of these things are a lot of times unconscious 
reactions that she's having in a moment to a thought that she's having. It's something that's going on upstairs that she's having an unconscious response to. And it's important for you to be able to, like I said before, be patient with her, be able to pace with her. Understand that her reality has many facets to it. It has many things to it that you do not know. Everybody has a story out there. Every woman has a story. If you're able to allow yourself to be the witness of her story and allow her to open to her story around you so she can see the falsity in it at times and also show you the truth about it, that's when you can see the full experience of a woman. Because a woman is sometimes afraid to show a man the uh, parts about her that she would say is ugly or the parts about her that are not so good. And a man's ability to go, okay, that part about you, that's okay, I'm willing to move at the pace right now that you want me to move at. Right now, I know that you don't want me to kiss you. I don't know right now you don't want me to go in your pants and finger you, and that's okay with me. Because I want this experience to be beneficial for you and beneficial for me. And I'm not gonna give up on you because you're like this. I'm just gonna allow myself to be the witness to what you're feeling and adjust. And I'm willing to be patient with you. Patience needs to become your new game. If you're a guy who's always wanted to get the results, allow patience to become what's a new thing for you. Because in your patience, you'll begin to meet women where they are. And I had to learn this. It was a very hard thing for me to learn because I had this idea of getting things quickly. And in that getting things quickly, that a lot, that a lot of times didn't get me anywhere. Because yeah, sometimes I would get to that quick, but then the experience wouldn't be as good because I wasn't enjoying the step along the way. Women want you to be able to understand them every step of the way. That's from when you go from the handhold to the kiss, to trying to uh, put your hand on her back when crossing the street, or you're trying to move her hair to the side, you're trying to say something in her ear. Whatever thing you try to do that allows you to physically be in touch with the woman and she, re and she resists it for a moment, let her do that. Because one thing that you will know about the feminine uh, that you probably don't know is that the erotic play of the feminine is to resist the masculine and then give in. Close and then give in. Because she's trying to see in that moment, are you trustable? Can she resist you and then you not be moved in your core? Because when you're not moved in your core, that's when she can trust you. That's when she can relax. She can relax into your direction. She can relax into your trustable nature because she knows that every man is trustable, but not every man is honest. She knows that. She knows, okay, this man is probably trustable, but I need to see, is he really? And she'll do this unconsciously many of the times. When she'll just, you're going for the kiss and she just be like, like that. And she'll just want to see how you react. And in that seeing how you react, she gets to see the truth of your character. And I'm always loving it when a woman is testing me or a woman is resisting me because I know that she's just going through the play that allows her to feel the most at ease with you. And I always talk about a woman relaxing into a man's truth and a man being in a know his truth so he can give that to a woman so she can relax. And once she relaxes into her heart around you, then you get to see her blossom into whatever it is that she is. A woman can't blossom fully until she, until, until she can relax around you. And if you're giving her your truth moment to moment and you're not being a man that's completely reactive to what she's giving you and saying, okay, why is she not kissing me or why is she not holding my hand and why is she not doing this and why is she acting like this in this moment? You'll be able to enjoy experience. She'll be able to open to you, open to herself around you actually. And in that, she can really relax her fears. I hope you guys got a lot from this video because physical escalation is one thing that many guys, they want to learn how to do but they don't just understand what's behind it. They don't understand the importance of being able to be patient and pace with a woman. They don't understand this part. And they're always wondering, you know, do I go for the kiss and then never go for it again? No, a woman is not black and white. Before we leave, I must tell you this. A woman is not black and white. She is flowing and passing with her every emotion. If she's feeling like she don't want to kiss you right now, she won't. If she's feeling right now that she absolutely wants to kiss you and you don't take the opportunity, she will feel deflated. She actually sometimes will feel like you don't like her. Because a woman, she opens the door of opportunity for you at the times where her heart feels like she wants to. And when she does and you take that door of opportunity, that makes her feel like she's wanted. So let's clear this up. 
You're there with the woman. And you are going for the handhold and she pulls away. Be patient. Allow her to know that, okay, I'm willing to move at your pace and try again later. Because the more comfortable a woman feels around you, the more she'll be able to do things that's connected to her heart. Do things that's connected to what she really wants to do. But she must first feel comfortable around you. You go in for the kiss. And she pushes away. Wait a moment. You don't have to say, I'll just be patient with you, don't worry. No. Wait a moment. Talk to her for a little while. And see where she's at later. Because many of the times, she, would, she will have changed her boundaries. Her boundaries will be shifting with her heart. And with every shift of her boundary, that's getting her deeper and deeper into her core. And as she does that, you get to see the woman that you actually want to see. This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles. I want you guys to subscribe below to Destiny's Solo. I'm here in Budapest and my woman is behind the camera. Say hello, baby. Yeah. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.